How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have a Stargazer with us, and they can say their names and what they do in the band. What's up? My name's John Dooley, and I play the drums. I'm Matt, and I do the singing. <laughs> I'm Jose, and I play guitar. I'm Connor, and I also play guitar. I'm Christian, and I play bass. And I'm Brandon, and I also play the seventh guitar. Of course. Yep. yep. Just so they just signed me on. So, anyway, first question, guys: How did you start out, Stargazer? How did you get your members? Long ago, <laughs> our old member Eric, away. who just left, started a band called King of Thieves. Okay. And they were going through some member changes. I think they picked up Jose, and then like a month later, I came out to try out. And right at that tryout, they were like, "Hey, we're going to change our name to Stargazer." And then John came in a couple years later. We went to school together, and Connor just joined in like January okay officially and then we, our buddy Christian over here has been filling in on base like a champion sick a champion 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 of what though of, of filling base. in on base uh, <laughs> <laughs> about the base shredding okay <laughs> awesome sick guys next question what are some favorite venues you guys like to play at or catch a show at so we, we play the one. champ a lot and we also like it do we play it a lot because we like it that much? No, we just end up on shows, but it's dope. <laughs> I like the Chameleon Club here in Lancaster, too, a lot. Yeah. Just a lot of memories in that place. It's fun. Um, I think it's definitely got to be... Well, it was um, like the basement of Croc, but now it's like the basement of the Chameleon Club, which is like the same Lizard vibe. Lounge. It's a similar yeah. thing. Lizard, Lizard Lounge, yeah. yeah. Honestly, I, I agree partly on that, but I also really, really like the champ. Like, that's my by far my favorite venue. I haven't played the venue with Stargazer, but the Trocadero in Philly. Yes. Definitely yep. my favorite stage to play. Philly. Agreed. I go to Philly all the time, so I love the Troc. We haven't even played Troc. Wow. You better get, on, better get on it. That's all I'm saying. Listen. Do it now. Right now. We're stopping it right now. Do it right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, next question, guys. The follow-up to venues. What was the last show that you attended? This one. <laughs> Excluding this one. Let's be, let's, come on. I don't need you to cop out on the answers here. <laughs> I'm asking for the facts. I'm the only one who cops out. Ooh. No, yeah, yeah, the last show that I attended was the one we played two weeks ago, Sent Like Wolves release show, mm. over at the Lizard Lounge. Yeah, Sent Like Wolves just released a new EP called Spirit Festival, it's killer. and it is the fire. Check it out. The last, sh the last, like, big show that jumps out immediately was Meshuggah. Oh, nice. I went to see them. Nice. I actually, I just saw um, The Contortionist and Silent Planet oh. and I think yes. Sky Harbor and Strawberry Girls. Ooh. That's Dude, wicked. It's like one of the best shows I've ever seen. And uh, I forget, it's the Baltimore, it's like their main venue. I, I feel like it's a soundstage. Soundstage, soundstage. soundstage. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't seen like an actual band in a really long time, but um, <laughs> yeah, the, the 31st show, the, the Spirit Vessel, whatever, yeah. Yeah, the last show I was at was that Chameleon Club show that we played. It's yeah. been a minute since I've been anywhere. Spirit Vessel. Yeah, all yeah, Spirit right. Vessel. Sound Like Wolves. Yeah. Yeah. Sound Like Wolves. Shout, shout. Subliminal. We're just going to add subliminal to Sound Like Wolves into every answer of every question now. From now on. Not Sentinels. Not Sentinels. Rave Ducky. Rave Ducky. I'm going to call him that from now on. Anyway, next question. Probably the most important one. What are some of your musical influences? Ooh. Uh... Musical influences for me, probably it's a broad spectrum, but it started with uh, Matt Griner and August Burns Red. That's what got me into metal drumming. And then I was really jazzed influenced, I guess, throughout high school, and it kind of switched to like more proggy stuff. So I'm really into bands like Tesseract, Periphery, yeah. Contortionist, them right now. So um, My influences, Peripheries has always been a big influence. Devin Townsend. Yes, he's massive. incredible. Um Adam from Oceano yeah, really has been, like, working on me recently with, like, the screaming and stuff. And, like, a little, you know, a little stuff, black metal here, funk there, little stuff. Sick. Uh, for me, it's definitely got to be the contortionist number one. Nice. Like they said, Periphery and Tesseract and whatnot. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of, like, rap and soul and R&B. I think that actually comes out with like the stuff I write. It's like weird chord progressions. And it somehow fits in Prague because oh, you can do anything yeah. in Prague. Mm -hmm. Anything. anything. Um, same with me, Periphery. And then I went towards like, you know, like Aura's Monuments and then Humanity's nice. Last Breath, Tony Danza. So like all like the heavy stuff Tony pretty much. Danza. Tony Danza. Say so I love Tony Danza. Periphery's been a big influence when it comes to Gent. 
but uh, <laughs> August Burns Red has always been my favorite band, and that's why today's been an awesome opportunity to play with these guys. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Awesome. Gent. Gent. The Gent. The Gent. Next question, guys, to follow up influences. Who have you been jamming recently? Ooh, who have I, I been know, jamming recently? You already know. Who you you already know. Say, oh, Wayne just dropped a new Ooh, yeah. Uh, yep. album. I've been bumping that. Hell yeah. Who are the five greatest rappers of all time? Dylon. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's Owen. your most re recently it's, listened to. No, it's it's yeah. Owen. The new EP, yeah, whatever, it has been like it's so annoying that it gets stuck in your head, and but it's so good. And it's just like, you'd never think you'd like like super synthesized sounding saxophone played by a puppet, but it ends up being dope. Mm -hmm. Saxophone. saxophone. Um, I've, I've been jamming a lot of Mashuga, and yeah. they're like the only band I can listen to nonstop pretty much forever. Like if I was on an island, it'd just be Mashuga. Like oh, future oh, yeah. question. No, just my sugar. I yeah. eat my sugar. I <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh. I don't know if that's something you want to admit online. <laughs> eat their flesh, drink their blood, yeah. break the bones. <laughs> yeah. You want to say that you want to say that ends the mic again? <laughs> you got to eat their flesh, drink their blood, break, break the bones, bones. who's soon as gave emotion. Hey. Yeah, cool. Good. Um, yeah, on top of Owie and I've been listening to uh yeah, Oh, yeah, fuck. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. Um, I don't even know, dude. Like Straight up, like, Sentinels and Veil vale of Maya. Straight up. But not yeah. Dave Rookie. I've been listening to a lot of Sentinels, a lot of Owain, Owain, Owain. And, uh, who knows? Yeah, yeah, really. I don't even know where he's from. <laughs> yeah, I've been yeah. going back to a lot of, after the burial, too. Yeah. yeah going back to the roots. Definitely. Always a good choice. Awesome, guys. Another fun question. If you guys could pick a song to cover, what song would it be? That's a good question. You can start this one. <laughs> I would cover Youth of the Nation by P.O.D. Because, Ooh. like, you Gen can't, that's like, that's you don't, like you, nobody song. doesn't love it. Yeah, you're right. Song of a generation. You want more time? I want more time. <laughs> um, immediately what comes to mind is, like, System of a Down, something like violent pornography or something, oh, yeah. like, crazy yeah, like that. Yeah, I started, like, listening to them more, and I was just like, wow, I know every fucking word. It's yeah, that'd be great. Um, no sugar. <laughs> um, uh, face palm mute. Real talk. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I'm really feeling that song. I think it'd be cool. Stargazer covered I by Meshuga. And I'll leave it yeah. at that. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think that I don't think it's <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's See you in The band years. is going to break up after this. <laughs> Dude, Masamune. I don't even know how to say it. Yeah. The last one on yeah. P2. Uh, yeah, that song wrecks. Oh, my God. Sick. All right, guys. Next question. Another fun one. Favorite food to eat? Gotta ask that one. Hmm. Partial to pasta. Specifically, fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> Milk roast for life, dude. <laughs> if we're talking about food by volume, it's pizza. If we're talking about food by my just lust to eat it, it's sushi. That's a good I one. like that. I like how you answered it like that, too. I'll go with the stereotypical rice and beans because, like, it's just the best. That's okay. If you had right? to live on an island, <laughs> you would bring rice and beans. Mashuga. And Mashuga. And Mashuga. <laughs> Mashuga and rice and beans. Mashuga. Um, <laughs> dude, the... 10 inch whole wheat from Wawa with roasted chicken, lettuce, honey mustard, onions, salt, pepper, garlic, aioli. Minus the honey mustard. I take away the honey mustard, garlic, aioli. Wow, that was very specific. I love it. Man knows what he wants. Yeah. Anything from sheets. Anything. Anything. It's all. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna end this debate. <laughs> you. All right, all right. We're gonna we're. This is this. Okay. Dude, I don't know if you want to ask the question you're about to ask. I. You know what? You know what's because coming. Because that we have we all have very strong feelings. I just want. You okay, to know. that's fine. Listen, that's what I need. I need I need a dis. I need. I don't even can't even speak. I need a clear and concise decision. No Wawa or sheets. But see, like to me, they're two different entities entirely. Like if I want a good hoagie and like sandwich, I'll go to Wawa. But if I want drunk munchy fried food sheets is where it's at at like that. two I in the morning that. yeah i feel that so answer. yeah oh do you want me to actually yeah. give it yeah we're definitive answer sheets i gotta say Ooh. sheets has a place in my heart i'm living the heart of sheets territory so <laughs> she sheets i'm territory. from sheets land too oh. and, but i live in wawa land now but i will go with sheets because one of the biggest pet peeves i had with wawa for years was when you were doing the made to order it would not tell you the price, price you yeah. didn't find out how much it was so you rang it up i feel that i feel sheets I feel has that. always been there and their drink selection is huge and i love the do um to what he said they do that now so um they're better um, wow 
it's like healthier and sheets i feel like they don't even give <laughs> sheets i feel like they don't even they don't even give you like that much food for like what you're getting like i remember getting popcorn chicken one time there was like Pricey. six in there it's like nothing yeah, like, you got a <laughs> shitty lady I guess I got a shitty lady. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take her to the island. <laughs> I'm like personally like drawn in between the two. I like them both equally. Nope. Yeah, equally. Nah. Connor, oh. I'd say Wawa. I'd say Wawa because it's from. <laughs> the band's going to split up after this. Yeah, this is the straw that breaks the camel whole breath. life. And I refused to accept that anything could compete with it. And then I was introduced to Sheets and my life changed. Wow. For the worse. For Most the worse. of the band <laughs> picks Sheets. I am surprised. Three out of five. It's yeah. Super, it's close. <laughs> yeah. It's close. But we all, we all do Wawa. I mean, I live in La La Land, so. La La Land, yeah. La La Land too. Yeah. Too. Ryan Reynolds, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's not, I know he's not in that band, but I just thought that. He's not even a, I don't even know where we're going with this. I'm, I'm going to reel it back in here. Next question, guys. If there was somebody that you would want to collaborate with, whether it be a guest vocalist or just a producer, who would it be? Hmm. Interesting. You can start this one again if you want. I take it have. I'm going to take a slightly different direction. I have always wanted to do a split EP. A lot of a lot of like the more hardcore, harder bands do that, but not a lot of like progressive type stuff. I feel that does split EPs, but it's you know it's a, it's a cool way to get music out and you can promote it together as two bands. And I want to do a split with Seforcer. So listen here. <clears throat> Let's do it. Um, if I could collaborate with anyone. It would either be um, Misha Mansoor or Oof. Devin Townsend because they are just songwriting geniuses. And just from doing that, I could probably learn so much. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely my 100%. choice. Honestly, I am really curious how Sentinels and Stargazer would sound. Split? Oh, like Split? Be like Happening? really aggressive while being super proggy. Like, yeah. Bring the so groove. weird, yeah. I think... I think if it were anybody, I think Stargazer could do something dank with a John Brown from Monuments. I think yeah. that, oh. that tightness, that chunky, mm, yeah. that chunky, mm. pe chunky peanut butter. Oh, yeah. uh, I would love to work with Anoop Sastry. Oh. He has the Ooh. fattest drum mixes ever, and his solo project is amazing, honestly. That would be so much fun to work and like just drum in his studio, really. Be in his presence, honestly. I love you, Seforcer, but I changed my answer to oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I would love to do vocals on top of that crap. That dude needs more credit. He, he is does. amazing. I would 100% agree. Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> All right, guys. Next question. If there was another musical instrument that you could just rip at, what would it be? I'd love to play piano pretty well. Just, I don't know. You can do a lot with just piano. I don't know. It fills out a whole song, and I feel like drums aren't really melodically oriented, so it's just... It's the missing piece. I play drums. Not drum set, but I play drums, like drum core stuff. So I would do drum set. That sounds like a really cool challenge and just like, just makes sense to me musically. Sick. Um, it's tough to decide between drums and piano, but I think I would take piano because it's just so much easier to write and get melodic ideas out because guitar is just, it's not that easy to be quite honest. I mean, piano, you can do pretty much anything. Uh, definitely drums. I love Ooh. the energy of drums. It's so it looks like so much fun all the time. Oh, it is. Yeah, I'd have to go with drums as well. When you watch Ooh. a good drummer, there's just something that like makes your bones chill. Like, yeah, it's cool. such a unique style. So do I. We'll yeah. talk. <laughs> I feel like every guitar player that I've had on always picks drums. I don't know if it's because of the lack of like hand feet coordination. I can speak for myself, and cause I don't have that shit. They're so. just so much fun to play. I honestly, too, I've tried playing guitar, and it's it's not a fun. At all compared to drums, oh. I just stopped completely. No, yeah, I don't know. It was nice talking with Stargazer. Um, never, <laughs> we're never gonna see this interview ever. My personal favorite question: If you could be a video game character, who would you be? Yes. All right, give me a second. Oh man, I would, dude, that would be Samus Aaron. Kidding me? Pound it. As long as I can save and I get brought back to life if I die. <laughs> Dude, I would be Link from oh. the Zelda series just because then I would know I'd be reincarnated too and to keep fighting because, I don't know, the battle never stops. Are we friends? I can see you going like... <laughs> <laughs> just like grass, the grass. <laughs> 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 Commit genocide on some pie. I don't have anything either. No, I don't have anything. I'm lame. Wow. What? Yeah. What's your favorite video game? Yeah, come on. 
Fortnite. 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 I would be the wall. I would be a Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite guy. Character. I would just love be the just wall that you build. Yeah, I fucking love it. I love it. Yeah. Dude, I would want. I'd be to the be... bush that you hide in in Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> get in John's bush, Connor. <laughs> Dude, I'd get a sex change and be Tracer from Overwatch. Damn. Yeah. Dude, that just yeah. seems like a badass character to be, to be honest. Okay. Or you could you know try to squeeze in a Tracer's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You Go know that way. I'll, I'll be the dude from Infamous. Oh. Straight up. Ooh. Straight Ooh. up. Thomas Infamous. Definitely Baraka from the Mortal Kombat yes. series, because he would fuck people up. Yes. Boy. 100%. Boy. The Obama dynasty. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, guys. In your opinion, who puts on a great live show in terms of like bands you've seen live? Hmm. I'd have to say, I don't know. Periphery, just because we keep calling them out, but they are like a huge influence just because from writing all the way to stage production, they put on a fantastic show. I'm going to bring it back to Seforcer, band from New York. One of our old members is in that band now, and they're just, it's so heavy and so emotional, and they talk about all this stuff that is so important, dude. It's like just such, such well-written music, and like not a lot of people are doing what they're doing. It's great. Sick. I guess I'll just go with a local band because nationally, like if they're there, they're probably good. Um, Promise Breaker, like oh yeah. The, the first time I saw Promise Breaker, I was sitting on a merch table. It's kind of my head was down. I wasn't feeling well, and they started playing, and I got up, stood at the front of stage, and just fucking watched. Like it was so good, <laughs> dude. Tyler's nuts. Tyler I'm on the same page with Periphery. They are like top of the line. I think after the burial always oh, puts oh, on a dude. perfect show. Dude, even right, yeah, yeah. even in a in a basement like a small show, their sound is so tight. Yeah, Everything okay. they do is perfect. Dude, for real. I saw them in like a shitty club. They were still perfection. Mm -hmm. It's insane. I'm like tones for days. Yeah. But my next question, guys, speaking about favorite bands you've seen live, if you can compile a dream tour, who would be on it? I mean, I feel like <laughs> We could come to gonna, a band answer with that. Yeah. yeah. Collective answer. I don't know. I would say Periphery, since we're already on that yes. topic. I would part, be partial for Tesseract, because yeah. they're one of my favorites. Uh, somebody else, keep going. Yeah, Periphery, Tesseract, Monuments. Monuments, and The Contortionist, I would add oh, to that. I, am I literally have nothing else to add. Yep. No. I agree. It's Bring just, Fly Owain out here. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, oh, wait. whatever, oh, wait. however you say his name, right? Oh, 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 Look him up. He needs oh, 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 Vanye. Vanye. Yeah. I'm probably going to piss him off, and he's never going to want to interview him. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not fine with that, but I'm sorry, Owen. Okay. Next question, guys. Favorite TV show, favorite movie? Interesting. I like the TV show Mr. Robot a lot. Ooh, good not one. a lot of people have seen it, but I think it's pretty dope. Favorite movie, too? Is that what you said? Yes, correct. Huh. I like the Sandlot a lot. It's Ooh. a classic. Classic, yeah. There you go. Adventure Time and all of the Star Wars movies. And I don't care if you don't like the prequels, because when I watch those movies, I pretend I'm in that universe, so it's all good. I will fight anyone who disagrees. <laughs> Jesus. I love um, it. <laughs> my favorite TV show, it's a popular answer, but Breaking Bad, because oh. like... Great it, one. It's just the best acting, just cinematography, everything about it was amazing. Movies, probably the Matrix trilogy, even Ooh. though the last two aren't that great, but just the concept and storytelling, oh, it's, so many it's insane. Pop culture references that come from that, too. Yeah, That's seriously. Crazy. All right, cliche alert The Office. A uh, hundred thousand percent. I, I watch it every day. Every day. Um, <laughs> favorite movie, actually. Um, On the space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, the movie Jumper. Believe oh, it or not, I nice. love that movie still. I can't give you a movie, but I'm going to straight up be a weeb, and I'm going to say Naruto. Best show yeah, ever. Two in depth. <laughs> <laughs> he's just chilling. Did anybody say Avatar is their answer? We need Avatar The Last Airbender. I've been watching that Avatar The Last Airbender. I've seen that so many times through. Like That show is amazing. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Next question. You hinted at it earlier, so I'm glad I'm asking it. If there was one album that you could listen to for a month straight, a Desert Island album, what would it be? P2. It's my favorite album, album of all time. And just because there's so much depth to it. I like, would agree. Just noticed so much every time I listen to it. P2. 
Um, <laughs> there's so much depth to it, and you just <laughs> notice so much about it every time. I don't know if you were just doing that to be an <laughs> asshole. I would say um, yeah. Intrinsic by The Contortionist. That's Ooh. definitely my favorite album. Or Excellent. P2. There's so much depth to it, so I think that's definitely... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to say P2. Sorry, guys. So much depth to it. <laughs> Straight up. Are you guys just forever? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, we're all forever. Uh, I liked yeah. P3. Loon was my favorite song. Yeah, fuck the language. But probably language. By He's the just a villain, guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got periphery and All right. Awesome, guys. And lastly, the most important thing of this interview, tell about Stargazer, where they can find you at, and anything coming up in the next couple months. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter and Instagram. It's all Stargazer PA. Um, we'll be playing Fam Fest in Philadelphia yeah. with all kinds of cool local bands coming up in July. We'll be at the Champ with Seforcer May 25th. Um, we just released two audio tree style live music videos Sick. for Skinwalker and Animus through Heavy Blog is Heavy. Check them out on YouTube. Yeah, they'll be up in a couple days on YouTube as well. Anything you want to talk about? I'm good. Hit it. You guys good? Hit it. Hit it. Anyway, shout outs to Sentinels. I actually found out about you guys through Sentinels. I hate Dave. Sentinels Rookie. are our boys. He's the worst. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love Dave. You know I love you, Dave. But anyway, go check out Stargazer. All of the links will be in the description. Go subscribe to your YouTube channel, which will be at the end of this video. And if you liked this interview, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up and share it. It would be greatly appreciated. And thanks to Stargazer for coming on. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Audio right. addiction! Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos, so definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button, it really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces.